What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be diving into child components and parent components in React. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel through Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues where other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. In the last video, we dived into components, so I kind of expect you to know how to create them and return something back to the browser. At the moment, we have a parent component called car list, which will render a car component. But the best way to handle this is creating a new file called, let's say, car, which will then be added inside the parent component of car list. Does that sound confusing? Let's test it out. Inside the components folder, let's create a new file called car.js. Now what we need to do is to import React. So what we can do is write down IM, hit tab. So it's importing React from React. Then we need to define the class. So class car extends react.component. Inside the class, we're going to define the render method. And inside the render method, we're basically going to return parentheses, semicolon, and hit enter. In here, we need to make one car. So let's start off by creating a parent div with a child div inside of it. That child div has an image, so let's say IMG. We don't need the closing tag, excuse me. Now we have a source right here, so let me hit enter, source. And we can also add a width, so let's say 300 pixels. Now the source is empty at the moment, so let's go to Brave. Let's open a new tab and navigate to pixabay.com. And let's just search for a new Mercedes. All right, let's click on, I guess this one. Now I don't want to save it and store it inside our assets folder right now. We will do that later on. So let's open the image in a new tab. Let's copy the URL, navigate back to Visual Studio Code and paste it as the source. Now it's giving us an error because we need to add the alt. So let's say Audi. All right, that's gone right now. Now this is the image block. So let's go outside of it and let's create a new div because we need to define the content as well. So let's define a new div with an H1, which will have the text of Audi. Outside of our H1, let's add a paragraph of luxury vehicles. Now in order to use the car component that we have right here, we need to make sure that we export it first. So let's go right outside of our class and let's say export default, the class name, which will be obviously car. So let's say car. Now let's modify the render output inside our parent component of car list. So right now we're returning an unordered list, which we don't want to do right now. So let's remove the entire unordered list. And what we're basically going to return is our car component. That can be done by adding a less than sign followed by the component name, so car. Now let's import it as well. We also need to close it off, which can be done with a forward slash greater than sign. We don't need our let cars anymore, so our array. So let's remove that as well. If we save it, navigate back to the browser. Let's go to our React app. And as you can see right here, we have an image, Audi, which actually doesn't make sense because it's a Mercedes and luxury vehicles has been printed out. Let me actually change that title real quick. It's bothering me. Let's say Mercedes. Currently, we're just working with two components. When your application starts growing and growing, it will be impossible to keep the trees and files of your application functional. Right now, we can reuse certain elements of our website at different places. We only have one car right now. In the next video, we will be adding Tailwind CSS to style the element. But after that, we will be diving into making our car component data driven, meaning that we will use dynamic data to our component. All right then, this was it for this video. In the next video, we're going to add Tailwind CSS to style our components a bit more. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.